What's up, Fanatics? This is Jared Stansberry, joined by my good friend Rob Gray, coming to you from the Sprint Center here in Kansas City, Missouri, where Big 12 Basketball Media Days are just uh, are, are coming to a close. Iowa State brought four players, uh, Jamel McKay, Monte Morris, Naz Long, and George Niang, alongside head coach Steve Prohm. Really fun event today, Rob. It was, and it always is here. You know, they put on a great event. It's well organized, but also, I guess, uh, almost uh, frenetic enough from going from place to place and interviews over here and everything else that it uh, keeps you hopping, you know, so it's, it's, it is definitely very enjoyable. Yeah, definitely. The Cyclones had some pretty interesting stuff to say uh, when we got to talk with, with them a little bit this morning. Um, what were some of the things that, that you took away from that conversation? Well, I really enjoyed the, the story that Jamil McKay started to share about George Niang scrawling a motivational thing on his mirror, uh, motivational message about uh, how uh, he's always got to work on something new to get to, to, to new heights, mm -hmm. uh, to paraphrase that. And Yang said he did it in chapstick so he could avoid uh, uh, losing something in his apartment deposit. So George is always good for a joke. Although we learned from Monte, he's not always as funny as he thinks he is in those videos you produced, which were great. Um, but those types of stories are fun. We learned about you know a lot of nitty gritty stuff like McKay working more on sh shot blocking. Monte's continued evolution as a scoring point guard and how they're running three or four sets for him that way. Um, and just a lot of interesting stuff from Steve on Steve Prohm from Fran Frischilla. I talked to Scott Drew and Lon Kruger about him as well. Kruger had high praise for Hilton, where I think he said he's never won. He, I, did, I reminded him, though, Kansas State days. He said, oh, I think we did win then. But um, just a lot of fun stuff in a notebook. Your great videos and Oliver Prohm story coming up as well. Uh, one of the other big topics was what it's going to take for somebody to topple Kansas after 11 straight Big 12 championships. What what were some of the things you heard from around uh, just around the different people? Yeah, well, I, primarily I talked to the Cyclones, and I, I really liked what Monte Morris said about just thinking of Kansas only when you're playing them. Um, you know, that's that's the key. You can't have one eye over on their score when you're preparing to play, say, Texas Tech in Lubbock last season. And Nazalong chimed in and said he felt that Monte was totally right in that, that their mind did wander a little bit. They got a little bit ahead of themselves. And it gets back to the one day at a time thing that all reporters hate to hear because it's a cliche. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when you think about it, it works. And as a Cubs fan, Joe Madden stresses it. So I've got to say, I don't have a problem with the one day at a time cliche. I think the thing that I just really love about this event is how low key it is. I love the, the videos from the Big 12 with the guys holding up the emojis to their faces or doing the dub smash like Iowa State did with the with Drake's hold on. Uh, we're going home. If you haven't seen that, make sure and check that out on Big on the Big 12's uh, Twitter account. Rob will have another story here uh, shortly uh, on Steve Prohm. Um, he's got his notebook with all kinds of video in it. We have all four of our videos from uh, from earlier today, uh, the one-on-one -on -one interviews. Just a really, really fun day. Yeah, absolutely. And just so many things you just try to, you want to throw everything out there, but you also hang on to some of the info for future stories and all that. But uh, Naz also, an update on him, how even though we updated him a few days ago at Hilton Madness, he feels even better. The scrimmage went well for him. George said it was awesome. Mm -hmm. So uh, Naz might be selling himself short a little bit. So. A lot of, lot of positives coming out of today for the Cyclones. Most definitely. Stay tuned to Cyclone Fanatic throughout the rest of the night and throughout the rest of the week for more coverage here from Big 12 Media Days. He's Rob Gray. I'm Jared Stansberry. 